New South Wales, they want to bring back, uh, they, they're going to introduce uh, religious discrimination uh, bills. They're going to change things to make sure that certain institutions will have certain protections when it comes to uh, who they can hire, fire and the rest of it. But James, I've got to ask you a tangential question, which is mm. there is a whopper coming to Victoria. Now, the headline is that they're going to ban swastikas, right? None of us are going to sit here and defend people wanting to uh, buy, display or any of those things. That's the headline, right? But the devil in the detail is that in Victoria, they are looking forward to criminalising literally six months in jail or civil penalties for people who vilify certain groups or ridicule certain groups. Now, it's not defined what ridicule means, does it mean that a comedian at the Melbourne International Comedy Festival who tells a joke about two people walking into a bar, bang, depending on what the joke is, fine or jail? James, again, I'm not going to I'm not going to fall for this trick like they did with the gay conversion thing, which is to pretend the headline is the whole bill. That's rubbish. How do you feel about the devil in the detail here of criminal sanctions for ridicule? Paul, you're absolutely right to call out this tactic by the Andrews government. They latch onto something that everyone is opposed to, everyone's offended by, everyone wants to crack down on, and yet they build in underneath that a whole lot more than that. And in this case, um, something that everyone finds abhorrent, you know, Nazi and other hateful symbols and memorabilia, um, they are going to bundle in with some profoundly serious restrictions on free speech. And if they proceed as they appear that they are going to, these would be the most draconian restrictions on free speech of any state or territory, let alone the Commonwealth in the country. Forget about Section 18C of the Racial Discrimination Act. This is 18C on steroids. Forget even about Tasmania's anti-discrimination laws, which were used against Julian Porteous and my Senate colleague, Claire Chandler, try and silence their discussion about matters of faith and morality. This will be all-encompassing and, as you say, indeed, potentially include criminal penalties. It's a very dangerous change. My hope is that the Parliament will not allow it, that the Liberal Party in Victoria at a state level will oppose it and that enough crossbenchers will join them to prevent that from happening because it would be a very, very dangerous thing indeed for our most fundamental and cherished freedom of free speech. See, I hope so. I desperately hope so. And certainly new leadership in Victoria will see what happens. But my greatest fear here is the author of the inquiry that called for this is, of course, one of those cross benches in Fiona Patton. We know the Greens will back it. We know animal justice, which means there is a path for this to become law. So we need to highlight what the consequences are very loudly about what's going to be here. Because Jacinta, here's the truth, right? Again, no one is okay with going after somebody because of their race, sex, all those things, right? But the concept of ridicule, okay, ridicule is different <laughs> than vilification. Who defines it? It, of course, will be defined by the activists, and the activist version of it with criminal sanctions is really weird. Oh, it's it's utterly weird. Uh, you know, I'm, I have to question why, uh, you know, the Andrews government would even consider this. I mean, is Andrews looking to lock up his detractors uh, that ridicule him on a regular basis because of his lack of leadership in Victoria? I think it's I think it's utterly disgraceful and it, it's an attack on freedom of you know, everyday Australians in Victoria. It shouldn't be happening. Uh, you know, where would they draw the line? I, I know that there's plenty of, um, you know, quite often white Christians are ridiculed quite regularly, but would, would those ridiculing them get off because they, they receive special treatment as, as we always see? It's, you know, it appears to be okay to um, ridicule white Australians you know, particularly when it comes to um, senators like um, Senator Lydia Thorpe, who's continually attacking, uh, you know, her, her white colleagues in Parliament. I mean, where do you draw the line and who determines what ridicule is and who it's being directed at? It's just, it's, it's, it's an absolute... Yeah, a can of worms and, and should not even be considered to begin well, with. Well, this is it. And look, as I said, look, I get it's a different state, but, you know, you can dress up as a nun and it's all very hilarious. Dress up as something else, potential criminal sanctions. Seriously, this is the game. It's really big. We're going to keep talking about it and I look forward to the word spreading more and more. Thank you, James. Thank you very much, uh, Jacinta. We'll talk to you all again very soon.